This video, I'm going to be sharing with you a law of attraction meditation that if you do for the next seven days, I believe it will totally change your life. Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you that meditation and it's going to be something that if you listen to for seven days, I think it will totally repattern your vibration. You'll start to see things in your life change in a very powerful way. However, before we get into the meditation, I want to share some of the fundamental principle ideas that will help us so that when we go into the meditation, we understand exactly what's happening because it's something that I've realized the more we wire in these ideas, the more we know the actual process. When we go through it, we know what's happening and we feel like we make the changes within ourselves. Now, the strategy and the formula I'm going to share with you in a sec has to do with that of Dr. Joe Dispenza. Dr. Joe Dispenza has been in the documentary called What the Bleep Do We Know? He does seminars. He has books out. He has a book out called How to Break the Habit of Being Yourself. He has a book out called You Are the Placebo. And he has another book out called Becoming Superhuman. And his books are on understanding the correlation with quantum physics and manifestation and understanding how the brain works in the manifestation process. So the way that I'm going to be explaining this to you has to do with understanding two fundamental key principles and it's all under this one basis. It's that our personality creates our personal reality. I'm going to say that one more time. Our personality, who we are, creates our personal reality reality. Now normally when we think of this idea, we think and we give it this negative connotation. We say to ourselves, oh, it's a bad thing to change. Our personality should be set. But the truth is our personality changes based on our state of being. Have you ever noticed that when you're around someone, maybe you're in a good mood and you treat them a certain way, but if you're around that same person and you're in a bad mood, you treat them a different way. Well, it's not so much that that person has done anything that different. It's just that when you're in different states of being, you have a different way of being. Now, what we can begin to do is to condition ourselves to feel a certain way and condition our personality to be a certain way so that we then create our personality in a more powerful way than we have been. So the first key to this is letting go of thinking that changing our personality is a bad thing. Changing our personality is about understanding that who we are is a familiar set of thought patterns that have stuff that has happened in the past. If something happened in the past, we decided this is who I am and we stayed consistent to that. That's been on autopilot. Our personality is a combination of what we think, how we feel and what we do. These three things make up our personality, which then creates our personal reality. If we change those three things, how we think, act and feel, we then change what we experience in our life. Now, versus thinking of the manifestation that you want to experience in your life, first just thinking of that, maybe it's a nice house, maybe it's a nice car, maybe it's a relationship. Instead of thinking of that, this is what I encourage you to do. This has been so powerful in my own life. Think of the kind of person you will become in order to have those things naturally as a reflection. So think of who you would become because a natural reflection is going to be the next step based on your vibration. Now understand that we always get in life a reflection of who we are. So if our intention is to attract a nice car into your life, but we don't live the lifestyle, we don't have the vibration of somebody that it's natural for that version of us to have a nice car, then many times that car could get taken away or it just doesn't happen. This is about knowing that we get in life that which we are a vibration of and we get in life a reflection of who we are being. So how do you see yourself? What is your personality? What are you consistently thinking, feeling and doing? Because those things that are on autopilot are going to continue to create whatever you have in your life over and over and over again. And the key is not being afraid to do new things. I encourage you, if I can encourage you to do one thing beyond the meditation that you're about to do, which I think will change your life. I think it's so powerful. If I could encourage you to do one other thing, it would be to step outside of that self image, to step outside of who you think you are and start to try new things. Because when you do new things, you get into an unknown zone. And when you're always doing things that you've always done, you'll always get the same results you've always got. We always get that which we are being. 
And if we're always doing the same things, feeling the same emotions and doing the same actions, we will always get the same results. So I encourage you to step into the unknown a little bit, to do something you haven't done. Maybe if it's going to some type of yoga class, then go to it. Maybe if it's going to some type of meetup group, then do it. If it's interviewing for that job that you've always kind of felt scared of, do it because the act of doing it, the pushing forward with that courage is going to change your personality. You're going to become someone beyond that which you currently are. They say that on average, we think 60 to 70,000 thoughts a day and that every day, 90% of those are recycled from the day before, which means we're thinking the same thoughts, feeling the same emotions, doing the same actions. And even think about it, you get up, you probably get up on the same side of the bed every morning, probably brush your teeth in the same type of way at the same time. You may eat the same thing every day for breakfast. You may drive the same route to work every day. All of these things are constantly triggering the autopilot mind, which is going to continue to create from that same personality structure. So what I encourage you to do is just right now set the intention that you step outside of how you think, feel, and what you do. You're going to step outside. You're going to do something you've never done before. You're going to read a book you've never read before. So you're thinking of something different. You're going to feel emotions you haven't because you're going to start to do things and think in new ways, which means you're going to trigger new emotions. All of these things can absolutely change your life when you begin to apply it because what you do is you start to get outside of the old bubble of who you think you are. And what this meditation is going to do is it's going to help you do these two things, combine two things. This is the formula that when you read Dr. Do Spender's newest book, and I think it's in his other books as well, but he really emphasizes it in Becoming Superhuman. Uh, it's a book called Becoming Superhuman, How Ordinary People Are Doing the Extraordinary. That's the name of the book. And he talks about the whole time people that have done this thing I'm about to share with you right now that you will be able to do in the meditation. And I recommend you do it for seven days at least. I would recommend 21 days if you can. It's this formula right here. An elevated emotion combined with a focused intention. These two things, they found using that of quantum physics, that if you have just one of these, it's only so powerful. But if you combine these together, you increase the electromagnetic energy, you increase the probabilities tenfold. And all you gotta do is combine an elevated emotion which means you get more into your heart center as well. That's the missing key for so many people. That was the missing key for me for a long time. I was so in my head, so focused on the intellectual stuff, so focused on taking action, but I was missing this component of being in the heart center. So what I decided to do is I'm gonna focus more on my heart center. Right now, even right now, put your hands over your heart like this and just feel inside of your heart. Now this may take a couple times of doing it because we're not patterned or used to doing this, but put the awareness inside of your heart and the more you do this, the more you will feel that emotion. The more you will feel this warm sensation in your heart, the more you'll put the attention there and the more attention you put in your heart, the more you grow the electromagnetic energy around your body. We have a toroidal field that goes all the way around our body. There's one that goes around our heart and one that goes around our head and it goes all around our body. Now the one in our heart is actually thousands of times more powerful than that of the head. So when we combine our elevated emotion with our heart center, with that of the intention, with what we're thinking of, that's the middle point of when we create in a very powerful way. It's the combination of these two things. So there's certain ways of increasing emotion and some of them have to do with literally just putting the attention more in our heart, which is what we're going to do inside the meditation. And the more we do that, the more we start to feel into it as well. The feeling is the secret. There's a book called The Feeling is the Secret by Neville Goddard. And it's a short book and it just explains that the feeling is where all the power is. And it's the missing key for so many people. Don't necessarily just focus on the vision of what you want to experience. The goal of visualization should always be that when you're in the visualization, you feel passionate. And if you don't, then it may mean that that goal that you have isn't actually what you really want. Your goals and everyone's goals, our goals, should be connected to our heart, which means we feel it when we imagine it. And if not, that's okay, but start to put the awareness in your heart, start to become more of a feeler than that of just the intellectual thinker. Now, then what you do is you get it to a pinpoint. What you do is you put your hands over your heart. You think about what it would feel like to be in certain situations. You think about what it would feel like to be the kind of person that you prefer. Then what you do is you set an intention. An intention is a will or a determination to have or to be a certain way. 
And a lot of things we set intentions. If we simply set more intentions in our life, I'll tell you right now, your life will begin to change in a powerful way. Because intentions are like outcomes that we increase the probability of things happening in that way. I could set the intention that I have a safe drive to the gym. And it does influence my drive. I could have an intention that when I'm at the gym, I have a great workout. And it will affect my workout. I set the intention every morning that I create a great video. And I create a video and I get to a flow state very easily. I've patterned myself with this intention, with this outcome, before I go into certain segments of my day. Some people call this segment intending. And I found it to be one of the most life-changing things I've done. But when I combined the increased intention with the elevated emotion in my heart, everything in my life begins to change. This is when things really happen. This is when there's been more growth in what I'm doing than ever before, more opportunities coming at me than ever before. And I really feel even more in alignment because it's not like the ego has to do everything. The ego is always thinking, right? It's more so about the feeling and the trusting and you get into more of a trust state when you do this as well. So this is like the secret formula, an elevated emotion combined with that of an increased intention or a focused intention. I intend dot, dot, dot. What do you intend for? I intend to go to this job interview and do very well. I intend to connect with the people I see today. I intend to have a great day of going to my job and feeling connected to the people that I'm around. I intend to go feel energized when I'm doing things, going for a walk with my dog. I intend to feel great when I'm eating the food that I'm going to eat. I intend to feel hydrated when I'm drinking water and I always remember to drink plenty of water. These little things add up and it will change our lives if we begin to apply it more. So what we're now going to do is we're going to go into the meditation that's going to really transform the way you go about the manifestation process. That's what it has the potential to do. And what I encourage you to do is to really become aware that the more intentions you have and the more you put your awareness in your heart, the more your life will begin to change in a very powerful way. And if there's one other thing I can encourage you to do is to do something new, do something you haven't done before. When you get into the unknown, your mind cannot go into the autopilot mind and therefore create the thoughts it's always had. It must create something new. And that's what I've learned in my own life. The more I do things that are uncertain, the more things actually end up working out for me because I proved to myself that I can do it. I feel more courageous. And the result of that normally is something very positive. So another thing I'll be doing is before we get into the meditation, I want to let you know I'll be doing more live q on Instagram. So if you want to interact with me more, I'll go ahead and link my Instagram right here as well. And I'll be doing more meditations as there as well. So that's something I'm going to be doing recently too. So with that being said, we are going to get into the meditation right now. I want to thank you for being here and I'll see you in a second. Peace, much love and namaste. And so let's take a deep breath in and deep breath out. As you breathe out, feel your body relax more and more. Now put your hands over your heart. Because the more you put the awareness into your heart, the more you are growing the electromagnetic energy and you're expanding it around your body. Now let's take another deep breath in, deep breath out. Breathe it out. Feel your body relax more and more. Close your eyes if you can. And imagine that with every breath you take, you can feel your body becoming more and more relaxed. More and more who you really are meant to be. The heart center is where the authentic expression of who you are is. And it's where there's a very powerful manifestation power that as you put attention on, you begin to grow it. And this is the missing key to you manifesting what you want. Now, as we go through this meditation, know and set the intention that by the end of it, you're going to feel in the vibration of what you want to experience. Set the intention that you are going to begin to see a new reflection in your life of who you prefer to be, of the new heart energy you are feeling, and that your life will be forever changed. If you set that intention, you start to prime yourself for a new way of being. Now what we are going to do is 
we're going to energize the different centers of our body, energize them with love, energize them with a powerful energy that will help us to vibrate in the reality that we move through. So imagine now that there is an energy around your head that is spinning in a clockwise motion. It could be whatever color that you like. And as this energy spins around your head, you can feel your body relax more and more. Feel the sensation of behind your eyelids. Feel them loosen up. Imagine this energy going down to your jaw. Feel your jaw relax more and more. Feeling loose, feeling light. Notice where your tongue is when it gets thrown through your mouth. Imagine it relaxing. I bring the awareness into your neck. Feel your neck relax. I feel into your left arm, your left hand up your left hand and arm and it relaxes. Feel in your right hand, your right arm. Squeeze and relax it. And feel into your heart center. And imagine that ball of energy in your heart center. Imagine it spinning faster and faster. And the faster it spins, the more you can feel it. You are now amplifying the energy around your heart. Bring the energy into your solar plexus just under your heart. Imagine that spinning and feeling more and more energy flow through your body. I feel the energy go into your sacral chakra, now your root chakra. Feel your left leg and foot squeeze and relax. Your right leg and foot squeeze and relax. every breath you take, you can feel your body relaxing more and more. Now bring your awareness back to the middle of your chest and feel inside your heart center. Now understand that when you feel this energy of your heart, when you amplify this energy and then you focus with intention on what you want to create in your life, you've created a very powerful momentum in the direction of what you want. Now imagine yourself accomplishing what you want to experience in your life. One scenario that to you would represent you accomplishing it. Maybe it's you winning a war. Maybe it's you with a significant other. Maybe it's you living in a certain type of house, doing what you love for a living. Whatever it is, imagine a scenario of you in it, experiencing what you Notice the colors, notice the environment. What do you see? Now imagine those colors becoming brighter and brighter. What do you hear in your environment? Imagine those sounds becoming louder and louder. How do you feel in your heart? Do you 
that energy amplifying inside your heart center. Now as you look around, notice that there are two chairs. Two chairs in the middle of your environment. Walk over and notice that on one of the chairs, it says increased heart energy. This chair, when you sit in it, it will increase the vibration of your heart times 10. And when you sit in it, you'll notice that you start to feel more energy in your body. You start to feel more like you are the authentic expression of who you're meant to be in your life. You'll feel more vibrant. You'll start to see yourself in a new way. Let's sit in this chair. Turn around, sit down in the chair. Notice how soft the cushion is. Notice how you feel more energy flowing through your body right now. How present at the moment you feel, but at the same time, you feel compassion in your heart. You feel abundant. And notice that on the side of the chair, there's a dial. The dial goes from 1 to 10. 10 being the max amount of heart energy. What you notice is that right now the dial is on 2. And what you can do is put your hand on the dial. And with every number that I count, you are going to feel the energy in your heart double with feeling. You're going to feel more light flow through your heart. You're going to feel an amplification of emotion in your heart with every number that I count leading up to 10. Now as you look at the dial on two, go in and start to move the dial up. Three, feel the energy inside of your heart double with love, double with light energy. Four, five, Six, with every number, you can feel the energy in your heart increasing more and more. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now the heart energy is at its full capacity. You can feel this loving energy flow through your whole body. And you have now expanded your energy far beyond that what it was before. Now bask this energy. You are more connected to your heart than ever before. Now as you are sitting there feeling the amazing love inside your heart, you notice the other chair. What you do is you can get up, still feeling that love energy, and then look at the chair and notice that it's titled Increased Intention. Now when you sit in this chair, you're going to be very clear as to what you intend to happen in your life. You're going to feel focused. And this focus is going to carry with you the rest of your day. You're going to become very clear as to what you want to experience in your life. And you're going to feel like your thoughts have laser focus in whatever direction that you want. So now let's sit down in the chair. And notice that as you sit in the chair, you feel more increased energy you feel like whatever you focus on will manifest instantly. So focus on exactly what you want to experience in your life. You living from your passion, the kind of house you want to live in, around the people that you love. Imagine all these different characteristics right now.
set the intention that this happens. Say, I intend that whatever you want. I intend that. As you feel in this energy and as you feel this intention, look and notice there's also a dial that is on the chair. Put your hand on that dial and notice it's also on a scale from 1 to 10 and it's currently on 2. What we're going to do is we're going to increase it. With every number that I count, you're going to feel like whatever you intend to happen is increased with laser focus. So move it to three, four, five. You can feel more of this laser focus. You feel this picture of what you want to experience becoming brighter and brighter. Six, seven, eight. You feel like you can clearly see and experience that which you intend for. Eight, nine, ten. Now you feel this intention is flowing through your body. You can feel this pinpoint accuracy of what you want to experience. And now what you've done is you have combined the energy of your heart with that of your intention. Now bask in this energy as long as you desire. states. I'm going to count down from five to one. With every number that I count, you're going to feel your body be very relaxed. You're going to feel more alert, more present. And you're going to know that you're going to have an amazing day today and you will see a new reflection in your life. Five. Feel yourself now. You can feel the energy in your body. Four, three, Wiggle your toes, start to feel like you're waking up. Two, one, open your eyes, feeling awake, present to the moment, ready to go, and ready to have an amazing day. So I wanna thank you for being here. This meditation I recommend you listen to for at least 21 days to get the maximum benefit out of it. If you'd like, there is a free meditation below as well that you can download to listen to at any time that will help you to raise your vibrational frequency that you, so that you attract what you want easier than ever. It's going to be in the top of the description box below. And other than that, let me know if you guys like this style of video. If so, I will keep doing them. And as always, I will see you on the next video. Peace, much love, and namaste.